well. Yeah, uh, so maybe some didn't learn their lesson here, but we're happy to have Dr. Jasmine Marcellin, an infectious disease physician, with us this morning. Doctor, good morning. I, I mean, nearly half a million people are dead in the U.S. You see images there of people on a party bus not wearing masks. At this point, we're beyond telling people what they should do. Wear a mask, wash your hands, stay home if you can. How do the actions of these people affect not only the ones they love the most, but people they don't even know? Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yes, it's really disappointing to see images of folks just really acting like the pandemic is over because it's not. And the actions that they are, are uh, contributing to right now can lead to uh, increases in cases, increases in number of people who are being diagnosed with COVID-19 who may not even be related to them. So they have their little pod that are on their bus with them or in their parties, but we don't know who these individuals are then going to go home to and going to interact with afterwards. And so it, it, it's people need to understand that the, the things that they do together in little groups does not do not stay together in those groups. Literally what happens in the Ozarks will not stay in the Ozarks. And so we need folks to, to really take personal responsibility for their actions and, and really think about the folks that are being impacted beyond themselves and their little circles. Yeah, as Rachel talked about, your Rachel Maddow talked about, what is your acceptable risk? Clearly for these folks, the bar is really, really... Uh, um, high uh, for the acceptable risk. And they canceled uh, Mardi Gras in, in New Orleans, but Lake of the Ozark celebrations are continuing. Do you get a sense, doctor, that it's all the positive news that we've, it, relatively speaking, that we've had lately with COVID that has a lot of people kind of just saying, oh, it's time to party? There has been positive news. We are excited about vaccines that are continuing to come down the pike. We're looking at the, the number of people who are being diagnosed and hospitalized and dying from COVID and thankfully seeing a, a little bit of silver lining, but we are not out of the woods yet. And I think people may be just tired. The you know, pandemic fatigue is something that is real and people have been itching to hang out with friends, to have some sort of uh, semblance of, of physical interactions. But this is not the time for us to let up and let our guards down. We, we need to think about how uh, our own personal risk tolerance uh, may be different from those that are around us and how we act upon on our risk tolerance can impact those that we don't even have an idea that are at risk. You know, doctor, we're all so eager to, to stop staring at the four walls of our own homes um, and socialize. Do you have a sense, it feels like that goalpost keeps being moved even further and further. First, it was maybe early summer when we'll go back to normal life. Now it feels like it's fall or winter. What's your take on whether we might have some semblance of a new normal? So I think we need to uh, focus on what is the what is the goal that we want to have and what normal actually means. And when we're thinking about normal being getting back to having in-person gatherings and being able to to fly across the country and and, and meet our grandparents and, and and do graduation, of course, people want to be able to do that. The, the timing of that is hard to be able to put a pin on because in addition to the, while we're still having vaccines that are hopefully helping, while we're still having some people who are adhering to recommendations of masking and avoiding crowds, we still have a, a, a subset of folks who are not adhering to those re health, public health recommendations. And so as long as we continue to have people who are not paying attention to that, it will always seem like that goalpost keeps moving mm -hmm. because every time we take two steps forward, we may take a step back. And so I would love to be able to see folks being able to get into mm -hmm. get into these crowds throughout the throughout the fall and to have to think about graduations happening next year in person. Uh, but it really has to to do with the, the in individual personal responsibility. Yeah, that indeed. Dr. Jasmine Marcelin, thank you. Appreciate your time.